this 20 years old male patient and I am giving the left sided brachial plexus block with my own technique and I am marking the suprasternal notch here I am marking the external pseudomastoid muscle it is going up to the, the mastoid process here this is the the external pseudomastoid muscle this is the clavicular head of the external pseudomastoid this is the external head and this is of course the external jugular vein here this is the external jugular vein, this is the posterior border. If I move the finger from the lateral border of the external pseudomastoid from here, if I move it laterally, the tip of my index finger will be, this will be over the scalenus anticus. Now as we move it down, we will feel a cleft here. So this is the cleft here, the cleft is here, cleft is here. This cleft is between the scalenus anticus and scalenus medius. Scalenus anticus and scalenus medius. If I roll the tip of my index finger down, I can feel the oblique structure, and this oblique structure represents the 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 inferior value of omohyde. So this is inferior value of omohyde is here. So this is the interscalene cleft, a cleft between the scalenus anticus, scalenus medius. So this triangle can be divided into two. One is above the omohyde, one is below the omohyde. We can block the brachial plexus by inserting the needle above the omohyde or below the omohyde. So now from here, again confirm the tip of my index finger is in between the scalenus anticus and scalenus medius. Now keep the head little down little down and keep watch on the pulse now from here insert the needle exactly in the interscalene cleft it should feel a little bit of pulse now tilt the needle start injecting the solution aspirate then inject advance the needle aspirate inject rotate aspirate inject advance the needle inject aspirate Yes, there should not be any resistance. Your aim is not to elicit the paresthesia. Don't try to touch the nerve trunks. They give little discomfort to the patient. Just advance the needle, aspirate and advance. Gradually move in a deeper plane. Advance, advance, aspirate and advance. There should not be any blood here. So we have designed two techniques. One is suprahomoid and another is infrahomoid interscalene triangle. If the this belly is placed much lower, you always give suprahomoid block. If it is up, then you can insert the needle here. This is infra omohyde interscalene triangle. Now this is based on the basic anatomy, based on the anatomical basis. And our aim is not to elicit any paresthesia. So keep the patient very comfortable during the block. Always maintain IV line before giving the block. Keep the record of pulse and blood pressure. So I have injected 20 ml, 20 ml of the solution here. Now check if there is any regurgitation or not. See regurgitation is there. This indicates that fluid is in the seat. Just massage this area and the block is complete and I will see the effect. Ha Danis, abhi injection lagi hai tumko 10 minute huye kya lag raha hai? Batao. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, ठीक है, ठीक है.